In this Amazon KDP tutorial video, I will show you how to convert a Google Doc document to an ebook using the Amazon Kindle Create software. After creating the ebook, you can easily upload it to Amazon KDP without any issues. Using Kindle Create, you can convert into ebook in a few minutes whereas if you try to do it uh, manually using microsoft word then you will have to take care of a lot of things such as margin page size etc okay so let's get started and let me show you how you can convert this google doc which i uh, this ebook into uh, and uh, Amazon Kindle ebook for publishing. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so over here you see that this is the like ebook, like uh, with four chapters. I made okay, here are the four chapters, and let me make it heading two. Okay, and I formatted this all of this uh, chapter so there is this mini ebook with four chapters. Okay, just uh, as an example. Which I'm showing to you right now. So chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and chapter four. Okay, and you can see that I, for the chapter names over here at the top, I've given this. You see, there's I have assigned them as heading two. Okay, each of the chapters I have assigned them as heading two. See, heading two, and I've also formatted the text over here, the contents for the book. Uh, I bold made bo some contents bold and I have made some content as list okay okay so I formatted them all of them properly before I convert them to the ebook using Kindle create okay and uh, just to let you know in the previous video I showed that how to convert uh, how to write an ebook using chat GPT uh, if you haven't watched that video then I'm providing the link to that video down in the description below and also uh, in the ending of this video okay so I'm providing you the link okay so uh, firstly uh, what we need to do is download Amazon Kindle create okay so let me type Kindle create okay Kindle create and then uh, you need to download this go over here and click over here download P for PC because I have I'm using Windows 11 if you have Mac then click over here download from Mac so I'll click over here down okay so let's next 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 and close okay okay fine oh then skip it okay okay great so before uh, all you need to do is create now okay uh, be, but before we do that what you need to do is over here you see that this the this is so this is the ebook that we wrote okay chapter one chapter two chapter three and chapter four okay and this is the word which i've generated using chat gpt so you see that the book I wrote uh, got 10 chapters, but uh, just as I want to show you as example and save time, I, what I did, I generate only four chapters and I copy pasted the four chapters into this Google doc and formatted it, okay? So the very first thing what I need to do is go to file and download this, okay? That's a Microsoft Word document, okay? Okay, I've saved this. Now I come over here and I create new, okay? Click over here, create new, click over here. Okay. Google Doc to ebook. Okay, this is our file, ebook file, open. So now you see that it's converting, okay? Automatically converting it. Okay, so just give it some time. You see importing and converting your document. Okay, great. Okay, great. It's almost done, so I'll just click on import successful. I'll click over here, continue. Okay, great. Get started. Okay, over here you see that I had four chapters. Okay, you see that uh, this Kindle kit, what it does, it call it detects the chapter names. Okay, because what I did over here, 
you see that I assigned the chapter names as heading okay so what Kindle create did is detected this as chapter titles okay automatically so that's very useful okay so I'll just click on so this is the right ones which are selected I'll click on ex apply uh, accept select I want to change the theme okay so to change the theme I want to maybe classic maybe let me just take select maybe another theme cosmos select yeah I like this one okay this one is better so you see that it automatically detects the chapters and you see that all of the formatting it uh, retained from the Google Doc. You see the bold text and list. Okay. You see that it nicely converted it to Google Doc. Okay. Uh, no, nicely converted. It transferred the editing. Okay. So firstly, you need to do is uh, there is front matter over here. You need to click over here and this is important title page. Okay. Title page. So let's go over here. What should be the book title? So subtitle, author name. I'll put the, my name as the author. Tasbir Mahmud and publisher. You can just give it any name if you have. If you are personal publisher, this is uh, actually this is self publishing. So you you can give your name or just give a fancy name. So I uh, just wrote down Tasbir Media Press. So this is a made up publisher name uh, if you have a publisher logo you can put over here so nothing uh, to worry that much i'll just click over here create page so you see that the page is created is very easy that's where media press and i can also edit it again uh, because this is in small letter that's where i want to make it a capital letter okay great updated and may let me click on another now at the copyright page so i'll give 2024 okay and you see that all the details uh, you can read read over here character events portrait just the basic uh, copyright text over here for ebook you don't need ISBN number but you can keep this over here okay this ebook just keep it the way it is okay and just create page and then click over here and dedication if you want to dedicate the page to uh, someone like your deceased parents or your father or mother or your sister you can do that dedicated to my beloved mother okay you can just uh, dedicate the book to anyone you like okay just create page and then uh, epigraph I haven't used this that much but this one is important table of content it will list on the chapters okay just click over here uh you see that it lists on the chapters okay great automatically it will list on the chapters and preface introduction there these are extra pages you can uh, you can add these pages or don't so this won't affect your publication so usually i haven't added any one of this and my book was published on amazon kindle so no problem don't need to add this but if you want to make it better you can try this out okay and if you have an idea you can try this out okay great now let's go to the back matter over here click plus over here books by this author if you have uh, written more books if then you can uh, list down the books other books about the author okay this is important so i can just give the author name tasbir Mah mahmood and i can uh, write down description about myself tasbir Mahmoud is a writer with 10 plus years of sorry of experience he was born in 1992 in Kong, Bangladesh. Okay, uh, just fill this up with the details about you. You can select image. Let me see if I have in my image. My image. Okay, I can let me just download an image over here. Pixel. 
not wrong just to show you okay then maybe this one the okay, download okay but okay great let's go back and select image desktop man okay okay great this is one medium small large Med small is good enough small this will be like this let me align this like this okay create page okay so you see that this will put this over here details over here name of the author image over here and it uh, put the text over here if you have more text it will put uh, let me just let me try to like add more text just to show you how it looks okay lorem ipsum Let me just put in more text just to show you how it looks. Okay. Okay, update page. Okay, you see now this is how it looks. Okay. Okay, great. Now let me see if I can add more about the author books in the series, praise for author, epilog, afterward, acknowledgement. So if you just add about this will be good enough, but if you, you can add additional pages, books by this author and praise for this author epilogue afterward. So these are extra things, but if you want to add, that's good. Okay. So let's go through our book again. Uh, this is the title page, copyright page, dedication, contents, important, and the chapter pages. Okay. Okay, and finally this author page and if you have, you can add additional pages you want, but for me, this is how my books got approved on Amazon Kindle without any issues. Okay, so the next step for you is to, uh, once you make sure that you have all the necessary pages, the chapter pages, etc. Um, what you need to do is, uh, let me go to print settings. Okay, this is not important because uh, Amazon will automatically uh, adapt. Okay, so the next for thing for you to do is export this uh, ebook file. Okay, for uh, for uploading to um, uh, for uploading to Amazon KDP. Okay, so you need to this this is the one which you need to export. Okay, KPF Kindle. Okay, and this will work for both the Kindle ebook and also for print. So this is very useful. You don't need a separate copy for the paperback book. Okay, I'll just click on export. Desktop. I'll click over here, export. Okay. Oh, well, I need to give a file name. Uh, what should I give? Uh, focus formula. I'll click over here, export. Yes, so file. Okay, so this is the one file. You see that this is the zipped file, okay? Uh, this is the Kindle create type file. And this is what you need to upload uh, to Amazon KDP, okay? You see, KPF. And I can also save this whole thing, okay? I close this and save this file, okay? Okay, let me go to the folder, Google Doc. Okay, over here you see the KPF file, focus formula. This is the file to upload to Amazon Kindle. Okay, so this is uh, how you convert um, a Google Doc file, a Google Doc to an ebook using the Kindle Create formula. So, uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to upload this, uh, Kindle create file, KPF file into Amazon Kindle, Amazon KDP uh, to publish the ebooks. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, then please like this video. And if you want to watch my next video regarding how to upload the file to Amazon KDP, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.